high again. So what did we now achieve? Our first goal was to demonstrate how the bulk edge correspondence could emerge in a topological system. We started by splitting up a single electron site into a pair of Majorana sites and noticing that there was no way to realize an isolated Majorana mode from electrons. We then managed to sneak around this by stringing together a chain of electron sites considered as pairs of Majorana modes and linking the Majoranas on the inside of the chain. By doing this in a way such that the end Majorana modes were left unpaired, we got isolated Majoranas at the ends of the chain that were as far apart from each other as we wanted. Re-expressing the Majorana operators in terms of fermions, we were able to write the superconducting Hamiltonian that realized these isolated Majorana modes. This Hamiltonian is a special case of the celebrated Kitaev chain, and it is a premier example of the bulk edge correspondence as it realizes isolated Majorana modes at edges that can never occur by themselves. The Majorana modes obtained in this way were not just a property of the contrived domino model, but were robust to all local changes of the Hamiltonian as long as there was a bulk gap. This kind of topological protection is a generic characterization of topological edge modes that define a topological phase. Clearly, entering and exiting topological phases would require a closing of the bulk gap, which is referred to as a topological quantum phase transition. Such phases are, are, are typically quantum, topological, and defined at zero temperature and the, therefore the corresponding phase transitions go under the fancy name of a topological quantum phase transition. These phase transitions always involve a closing of the bulk gap, and in the simple cases of non-interacting systems, the phase transition points are described by Dirac Hamiltonians. The general form of the Dirac Hamiltonian does not depend on details, and is completely constrained by the symmetries of the phase. The Dirac Hamiltonian provided us with another way of obtaining isolated Majorana modes by considering domain walls between topological phases and non-topological phases. So, we now have two ways of obtaining Majorana modes from the same Hamiltonian. One is the so-called strong coupling limit that produces Majorana modes localized on a single site, as in the case of the Kitaev chain, and the other is referred to as the Dirac limit, which produces a very delocalized Majorana mode in a weakly gap system. These limits are really different sides of the same coin and have both been successfully used pretty much for every single topological insulator out there. Despite the excitement at the edge, the bulk topological invariant is what allowed us to connect topology in condensed matter to the more conventional notion of topology in mathematics. The bulk of the system is characterized by a block Hamiltonian associated with crystal momentum K that was constrained to be on a circle. It turned out that under appropriate symmetry constraints, the differences in continuous ways of associating this bulk block Hamiltonians with crystal momentum is quite analogous to the difference between a cylinder and a Mobius strip. As you can imagine, this part becomes mathematically quite challenging. Fortunately for us, mathematicians had worked out the answers to all these twisty puzzles in the form of a branch of topology called K-theory. For our 1D superconductors, the bulk topological invariant that is determined from particle hole symmetry is the Fafian. While we left the derivation of this conclusion to mathematicians, we could check that the quantity defined was indeed invariant as long as the gap didn't close, and therefore is by definition a topological invariant. By considering a thought experiment in involving a ring geometry, we even managed to show the bulk edge correspondence between the bulk Fafian invariant and the existence of Majorana modes at the edges. So, 
Faced with a block Hamiltonian for the bulk, all we have to do is compute the Fafkin based topological invariant and we can be sure whether the system will support Majorana edge modes at the ends of the system. This completes the idea of the bulk edge correspondence. The bottom line is that extended systems with separable bulk and edges have characteristic properties of the bulk and edge which are totally unique to the system. Knowing either the bulk or the edge property will allow you to predict the properties of the other in a topologically robust way.